How has uh, fostering and adopting children with disabilities or special needs, um, how has it revealed to you um, more about who God is and his, um, yeah, just who he is and who he shows himself to be to us? Yeah, for us, there are several of those like key theological things that have really uh, come to life for us. One of them for me that I probably say the most is just the impact of the fall. As I look and I see the the lives that my kids have come out of, that their families have come out of, from generations of people who have not followed the Lord, and just the yeah. incredible negative consequences that that has, and how that has negative consequences, you know, sometimes we look and you're like, oh, I want to be upset about where our kids, you know, parents were from, but then you start realizing, no, that was something that happened and the grandparents and the great grandparents generations. And so just the reality of that, you think of the reality of the struggles that uh, our kids have with their disabilities that are really not their fault, but they are effect of sin and how that's uh, impacted them. Another thing that we talk a lot about is just what it means for us to be adopted into God's family. Mm. And for me, I think the one that hits home for me most often in that is when I start to get agitated or frustrated um, with my kids and with what's going on. And, you know, come on, you know, we've told you that five times, right? Why aren't you, you know, able to figure that out? And then the spirits is like, dude, um, <laughs> that's what I've been trying to tell you too. And, and you're not following along either. Um, and I'm giving you those same things and you don't listen. And so I think for me, it's been that mirror that holds up to say, oh, how am I living as a child of God? And am I doing the things that God's asked me to do or or how that flows through? And so I think that from that, it's just like, oh, I, I need to be continuing to figure out how to serve the Lord better or how to do those things right and working through that. I think another issue that we've wrestled with is what does it mean to talk about the faith of a child? I know when our kids were originally uh, talking about, hey, we want to get baptized and, you know, going through that process, you know, as a as a professor at the Moody Bible Institute, you know, I'm wanting to say, oh, well, before we can validate your faith, are, are you able to explain all of the theological truths that there are? And can you give me, you know, a synopsis of what the Gospels, the, the books in the Bible, the Gospels say? And and go through all of that. And I was wanting to put that harder parameter around it as opposed to their simple faith and just saying, I love Jesus and I know that he died for me. And so I think it's been wrestling with that uh, to say, oh, what does Jesus mean when he says, you know, that you just need to come with that faith like a child? And so I think for me, that's been a, a refreshing thing to go back and to wrestle with that and to not always get faith tied up in all of the extra things mm -hmm. that we can tend to put into it and to look at that. And then a fourth one that has been really good for us is just God's faithfulness. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, just to be able to look back and say, man, God has been so faithful to us. He's been so faithful to our kids. He's been so faithful in the way that we have been able to work with them and to give them a hope and a future. And, you know, just on so many aspects of God's faithfulness and the way he provides for us. And, you know, that's everything from um, material things that, that happen to the spiritual things that happen and the changes that happen in our lives.